Hey guys, welcome to part 6 of this tutorial series for extending the third person character example. In this video, we will go over creating child pickup actors from the parent pickup actor that we created in the last series. We will create one that does damage over time, as well as one that applies effect and then removes the effect after a certain amount of time. Let's get right into it. Go ahead and click into your parent pickup actor and right click it and do create child blueprint class. For this we're going to call it damage over time pickup and then enter into it. Over here where it says functions we have the override. For this specific damage over the time we're going to want to do the effect at the very beginning of the apply effect. So let's first override the apply effect function. You'll see it's created an event here. If you double click it and it doesn't load, you can always just click your event graph to go to it. Take you right to it. Pull out from this and do effect. We haven't put our custom code in this yet, but we will right after this. Also right click the event apply effect and go to the add call to parent function and click that and then add that after the do effect. Now we've made this specific pickup, do the effect before the effect is, before the effect is applied for the tick functionality as well. And you'll see why in another example, we do this this specific way. And remember that this is going to create a timer that will then fire the, uh, effect tick which will then call to the do effect function which is what we're going to override right now so we right click and call do effect and you want to call to the event do effect and we pull off of this and what we're going to want to do is apply damage and we're going to want to get that character node that we set up before right here at the bottom get character and we're going to apply that into the damaged actor. And then we want to select uh, physical damage as the damage that we created in tutorial number two. And then we'll just do 10 damage. So now when this is when this uh, object is picked up, it will do the effect before starting the timer, which will cause 10 damage. It will then start the timer. Every time the timer ticks, it will cause 10 damage. Now we need to set up the default values for this specific pickup object for how many times it will tick and how long it will last. So we want to click up here in the upper left hand corner where it says damage over time pickup. And you'll see here we have a current tick count. We leave that as zero. The max tick count we'll, leave as, we'll put as three and the time per tick will be one. So now this will tick three times every second but it will also do the effect on the apply effect so that means the effect will occur four times once on the apply and three on the ticks so that'll be a total of 40 damage if you didn't want the damage to happen right as the item was picked up and you only wanted to do 30 damage over three seconds you would delete the do effect and effectively, you could delete all of this and you wouldn't need it in. But let's just leave that in for now. Go ahead and hit compile. Minimize this. Go into your world and your editor. Take your damage over time pickup actor. Drop it in the world. Drag it up just slightly. Hit play. And then run into it. And you'll see the damage over time is being applied. It stops after three seconds because the actor deleted itself and it's done. Now we'll want to create another pickup actor, but this time we'll apply an effect that will then remove the effect when the actor is destroyed. In this case, we'll call it the big pickup. Open your big pickup. Once again, override the apply effect functionality, go into it in your event graph, 
And here, we're going to once, once again call to the get character, which is the character that picked this object up. And we're going to get its capsule. Maybe down here at the bottom. And this may be different if you're using a different character controller, like the first person controller or anything. But for us, we'll get capsule component and then we'll set 3D world scale. And we'll set this to, to 3, 3, 3. And then we also want to right click this again, call to parent function, and set this up. That will make sure the effect timer still happens. Now, we want to also uh, remove this effect when the actor is destroyed. So once again, let's override the, uh, I believe it is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, Uh, override the do event destroyed function. Oh, I believe that's the wrong function. Damn it. All right, I'm going to have to clip it right here. What the fuck did I call it in my parent? End effect. Okay. So from right here. Right click your add call parent function, drag it out and call it. This will still call the, this will still cause the effect timer to tick. Now we want to remove this effect once the actor has destroyed itself. And for that, we'll want to override the end effect functionality that we created. And we'll want to basically copy the same that we have up here. and set this back to its default scale, like so. And then also, we don't have any code in our parent end effect right now, but you still might want to call to it later if you do put anything to it. So just to be clean, you put a call to parent after you do your custom code. Now, once again, we'll want to set the default values by clicking the self in the upper left and setting in the current tick count as zero the max tick count as one, and then the time per tick as three. So this will apply the effect for three seconds. It will tick once. It will do nothing once it ticks because we didn't do anything on the actual do effect function. And then it will delete itself. And upon deleting itself, it will call the end effect, event end effect, and then you'll put your code in there to reset it. We can go ahead and hit compile, minimize, and now if we drag and drop our big pickup, lift it up a little and hit play and run into it, our character suddenly becomes big. There's some collision issue there, but we'll deal with that later. Nonetheless, you can see you now have pickups that do different types or that do different things based on different ways that you can, can configure the event tick timer happening. We'll go into this in other videos, so be sure to look for this in the description. But we're going to continue on to more important systems now with the tutorial. Look forward, look forward to part 7. Have a good one. I don't actually know what part 7 is going to be. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my tutorial series. If you want to see more, let me know by hitting the subscribe button or leaving a comment. Hope you guys have a good one. You want to say bye, Duchess? You want to say bye?